Hops up here and we are rolling. Uh, I woke up today and I thought, you know what, I kind of want to make a fisheye lens using a little door people. So we're on the road, we're going to go get the components. Did a little YouTube research, a little Google Images research. I think I got an idea of all the little components we need. You're watching Quick Effects, fast, fun filmmaking effects, DIY stuff and everything else. What's DIY? Do it yourself. And we're going to do it ourselves. Fisheye lens. And we're recording on the Kodak ZI8. Love this camera. Unfortunately, Kodak's not making the camera, so they're not available to everyone. All right, let's do this. We gotta, I gotta go to the post office here and mail a letter to the Netherlands. All right, here we go. Post office down on the farm. The amazing thing about this post office, um, there'll be like a giant line of cars, but you never know if there's people inside or not. Sometimes there's no cars, whole line of people. Other times, tons of cars, nobody. Let's do this, Netherlands. All right, we got that mailed out. It's about seven bucks to mail something to Netherlands. Not too shabby. Let's go make a fish out of lens. It's important to have your priorities straight when you're heading to go to get some. Hang on one sec. Uh, yes, I wanted to get a large coffee with just a little cream. Um, also, do you have any blueberry uh, cake donuts? Yes, we do. I wanted to get two of those. Something that's very important about planning out one of these projects is expect not to get enough parts when you need them. So what I usually do is buy a little bit more than I need and then I'll go back and return the stuff I don't use. It's just frustrating to leave the hardware store and you got everything almost completed and then you realize you need a couple parts. So as far as I know, we're gonna grab the door lens, people thing. Um, we're also gonna get PVC pipes. That's gonna be our gauge for uh, the different diameters to go on the lenses and it'll give our uh, lens a mount. Yeah. yeah. Oh, some nice clouds out today. We're here. All right. I couldn't decide, so. We have 160 degree and 200 to choose from. We'll get them both. <clears throat> this, this is why I like clothes. Look at that. I think this is what Got a little distracted. Got some other stuff while I was out here, but hang on, let's get one of these. Where are we at here? All right, so let's take a look at this. We got, we have a 160 degree wide angle and a 200. Let's just see what this looks like, just holding it up to the lens. All right, so just taking it apart, <laughs> I will say this, this is definitely not the highest quality lens. Not so much the lens, but take a look. You can see the edges. It's like you can see all the glue. What's that about? All right, let's just do some adjustments here. That's just me holding up the lens. Let's put it on macro and see if it looks any different. And you can really see that crappy glue all around. This is just me holding up the lens, which almost works just as good for Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. Let's see if I change the 
focus to infinite. So the focus is now out the doa. This probably isn't the best camera to try this on, but yeah, I'm not super impressed with that gluey edge. I don't even know if I want to bother with this other one. I kind of, <laughs> kind of want to take them back. <laughs> hmm. All right, so I opened up the 160 wide angle, and it actually looks a lot better. Let's see if we can take a look in there. That edge glue looks a lot better, but it is what it is, isn't it? Interesting. So the ZI-8 probably isn't the ideal camera to stick this lens on. Because that's really not much of a wide angle. 160. Eh. Let's go back to the 200 just to see the difference. Alright, so now we have the 200 degree... What is it? 200 degree wide angle? What the? All right. Yeah, that just that just looks kind of goofy, man. I mean, I guess that's the idea that it's a wide angle, but uh, yeah, about that. So I don't even know what to say. Am I gonna take this thing back? I might. I might take these things back, dude. I don't know. I'm not really super impressed with the quality of these lenses. Obviously, they're peepholes, so they're about four or five dollars a piece. So, what do I expect? But all right, I figured out something on the Kodak ZI8. I have to put the focus. It needs a focus range. Uh, the ZI8 offers a little slider on the top. So, if I slide it right in between, so it's half and half, then the the visuals focus when I put on the. This is the 200. Wide angle lens, but still, I don't know about the quality of that little, pretty much the glue. It's not so much the lens, it's just the way it's glued in there. It's kind of like, what? The epoxy's all over the place. But anyways, there we go, fish-eyed lens. I'm gonna get some of the PVC components and I guess we'll experiment a little bit. Bought the stuff, might as well try it out. All right, let's do this. my dinner and lunch lunch this is my dinner and lunch I like plain donuts back off 